Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. What everybody's doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. <laughs> Who remembers that damn song, okay? First and foremost, yes, bitch, it was all good just a week ago. If you guys don't know, there's some more white on white crime going around social media, okay? Now, you guys know I've been following from day one the whole Asia Argento, Rose McGowan situation. I told y'all back in 2017 that both these bitches were crazier than cat shit. Told y'all they weren't shit. They hijacked that black ladies movement, twisted it, made it their own, and then used it to accuse, you know, all types of men in the industry of foul acts. Even before they were found guilty, Rose McGowan was running her mouth about Morgan Freeman and running her mouth about this man. But they both came together to basically take down Harvey Weinstein. It's been a bunch of mess. If you guys have not seen my Rose McGowan Asia Argento videos, I suggest you click the links down below, honey, and go and watch them and get caught up, okay? So anyways, today on White on White Crime, Asia Argento, honey, she took to Twitter yesterday to basically tell Rose McGowan that she has 24 hours to do as she says, if not, she's filing a damn lawsuit, okay? And about three hours ago, she came back and basically said that, okay, Rose McGowan, bitch, you don't want to adhere to what I told you on Twitter, I'm getting my lawyer. Let me go ahead and read to you guys these tweets that she sent to Rose McGowan. Go ahead and check this out. So on the 17th, this crazy bitch, Asia Argento says, Dear at Rose McGowan, 24 hours to retract and apologize for the horrendous lies to your statement of August 27th. I will have no option other than to take immediate legal action. So after she wrote that, Rose McGowan basically didn't give a fuck. She kept reposting shit like it was a good damn day. So then this morning, Asia Argento takes to Twitter and she says to Rose McGowan, the 24-hour deadline given to you has now passed. I must inform you and at Rain Dove model that I've instructed Mishkan De Rea to seek substantial damages for deception, fraud, and libel. You will hear from them shortly. It's no fun when the rapper got the gun, huh, bitch? Okay? If this ain't white privilege, I don't know what is, okay? This fucking funky demonic witch, okay? This red witch got the audacity to be trying to sue Rose McGowan for basically going to the police and going to the public and showing factual evidence that this bitch admitted to her girlfriend. I don't know if Rain Dove is a man or a woman, y'all. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't tell. I see a, a man with tits, but then people say it's not, I, I don't know. Basically, Rain Dove and Rose McGowan are a couple, okay? So she was sending all this shit to Rain Dove. Rain Dove showed it to Rose McGowan. At this point in time, you three hoes are basically spearheading the Me Too movement. Y'all done took it and hijacked it. So, of course, she had no, you know, she, she couldn't keep that secret because then she'd be complicit with the damn fuckery. So, in this situation, Rose McGowan did the right thing by taking that shit to the media and to the police and saying that she wants no parts of this. Now, you're sitting here trying to sue her for coercion and, you know, for blasting you and for, you know, slander. But girl, are you crazy? The little boy came out and said that you fucked him. You got pictures of you and this little boy together in bed. He's topless. At the time, he was a young kid. He was 17 years old. There's receipts of you having Anthony Bourdain, before he passed, pay your debt to him. You agreed to pay that boy $300,000 to keep him silent. And you shamed Anthony Bourdain into helping you with the fuck shit. So yeah, like I said, it's no fun when the rabbit has the gun. Now you want to sue, now you're in your feelings. If this ain't entitlement at its finest, it makes no sense. There's proof that she coerced this kid. There's proof she's admitted herself that the boy has supposedly been trying to, you know, get with her since he was 12, okay? Um, she basically admitted to sleeping with him. Then she tried to come out and say that he forced himself on her, basically insinuating that the boy raped her, okay? Friends and allies as leading voices of the Me Too movement. Imagine how tired we are of it. And by we, I mean most of the world. 
that has been assaulted or attacked. But this morning, McGowan is seemingly distancing herself after she says she saw text messages between Argento and McGowan's partner, Rain Dove. In those text messages first reported by TMZ, Argento allegedly confesses that she slept with former child actor Jimmy Bennett, who she starred with in 2004's The Heart is Deceitful Above All Things. Argento, who publicly denied ever sleeping with Bennett, also allegedly informed Rain Dove in text messages that she had been receiving unsolicited nude photos of Bennett since he was 12 years old, but had not informed the authorities or told him to stop sending the photos. In a statement acknowledging the new information, McGowan writes about Argento, It's sad to lose a friend connection, but what's even more sad is what happened to Jimmy Bennett. Many people believe that because we have been close in each other's lives over the past year, that perhaps I am affiliated with this incident or being complicit. I am not. McGowan said she was the one who urged Rain Dove to turn over Argento's text to police. McGowan goes on to say, I've been extremely humbled by this event. There absolutely should be no leeway or tolerance for sexual assault. Hard stop. None. However, as allies to the victim and voyeurs of an event, we should find a better way to balance support of the victim with due process for the accused. This is a sharp turn for McGowan, who has often publicly advocated a swift and harsh penalty for anyone accused of sexual harassment or assault. In the fall of 2017, Argento was one of the first women to publicly accuse Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault. McGowan also became one of Weinstein's most vocal accusers after she accused him of raping her in a hotel room years before. McGowan finished her statement advising Argento to do the right thing and be honest, writing, be the person you wish Harvey could have been. So there's all this proof. And instead of her taking ownership and personal responsibility for the fucked up shit that she's done, she's trying to shift the blame and push everything onto Rose McGowan and Rain Dove and say that, you know what I'm saying, it's their fault that all of this is out. When I tell you Hollywood is a sick, twisted place, okay, all these folks do dirt, okay? They all do all types of shit behind the scenes, you know what I mean? Because if I can get you caught up in some shit, I'm going to do my dirt. And if I can bring you into my dirt, then you won't go back and tell on me. And that's what she thought was going to happen with Rose McGowan. Because Rose McGowan was like, no, bitch, I'm not getting involved in none of your fuck shit. I'm not lying for you. I don't know you like that. We've only known each other for a few short months. We didn't grow up together. You're not my homegirl from around the way, bitch. You grew up in Italy with your crazy ass, demonic ass father who was reading you horror stories at bedtime as a damn toddler. Asia Argento has definitely been through some, you know, some MK Ultra bullshit. I, I broke that down before. She's been through a lot of shit, okay? She was raised in a real sadistic environment. You know, there's a lot of things that are just not clicking with her. But with that being said, there's no excuse for sexual abuse, okay? Point blank, period. She was all the way in the wrong and she knows she was all the way in the wrong. She paid that young man to be silent. He eventually found his voice and he decided to blast her as he should have. I don't feel bad for you. You need to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Leave Rose McGowan a damn lone bitch and go handle your own damn situation, okay? You damn raped somebody at the age of damn 17. A child that you've known since he was seven years old. He starred in that damn weirdo ass movie with you. You played his mother and you saw nothing wrong or sinister with this shit. Can't say I wanted you. Can't say I didn't do rabbit's tricks to try and get rid of you. If my father let me, you long been flushed down some toilet. Come on, boy. You ain't listening to me. You ain't gonna be pissing your pants no more, you hear me? No! I didn't know you had it in you to be so fatherly. And like I said, even if the little boy was trying to get at you, bitch, the right thing to do was to call the damn police and let them know, you know what? This little boy's trying to get me caught up. Somebody get his damn mother. But you didn't do that, okay? You kept grooming him until he was old enough for you to jump on top of that beef stick, okay? So stop with all your damn deflection and trying to blame Rose McGowan. You're one sick puppy, okay? Anyways, I'm done with this story. It's pissing me off the more I think about it. This damn entire story just reeks of damn entitlement and privilege and I'm over it. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet-ass situation concerning Asia Argento now and her damn feelings. Top mouth suing Rose McGowan for basically not having her back and putting her on blast. But not taking into consideration that she put her own damn self in the situation. Anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.